Hey there, Sagittarius. Wow, I'm hearing Capricorn. I'm hearing Scorpio. Right off the bat, there could be focus on those two signs for you. Let's jump in. This is your Mercury in Capricorn reading. We're looking here at approximately three months. We're going to be playing a card for each of the days for this particular transit. Mercury is so long here in Capricorn because it's going retrograde during the season. So we're looking at December, January, February around the 11th or so, the 12th. Um, and uh, that's when we'll then step into Mercury moving into officially Aquarius. Um, but we've got a lot until that point, right? Retros are pretty important, we'll say. Um, it's not random, right? What comes to during a retrograde? Sagittarius, I was just meditating on your energy. I'm seeing here that um, there is something here that you are going to officially embark upon. And I feel like it's going to be something truly amazing. Um, this season, I feel, is going to be your season, Sagittarius. I feel like there's something here that you're going to absolutely invest in wholeheartedly. I see you not um, waiting on this any longer. I feel this is something that you've been dreaming of, something that you've known you've wanted, something that you know is for you, you know, that, that you're... This is so embarrassing. Look at these cards. Um, yeah, we're going to get a new deck, but uh, apparently we're going to wait until Mercury goes retrograde. Okay. Um to 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 do so um okay eight of pentacles we're filming this uh before mercury has gone retrograde we'll make the most out of this uh you know this last few this is like a brand new deck as well relatively um but hey when it's meant to be it's meant to be queen of pentacles in reverse eight of pentacles of right yeah so uh but i'm here i keep hearing capricorn sagittarius there's something that i feel you're going to take a risk with as well let's back it up clear throw struggle there is someone here who i feel you're going to finally connect to i see you sort of like reaching out to this person for some of you this is someone who you really care a whole lot about for some of you i see you also i mean this is your level up i that's clear. You got a lot coming here for you, Sagittarius. This is a huge feat of yours as well that I feel you're going to step upon in within. Okay, the space of officially, even publicly for some of you, I see you're going to finally, you know, feel it within you to sort of, uh, sort of um, to say something to someone. I hear it as well in a very particular way. It can be even to an audience, a group of people. There's something maybe you want to confess. Some of you here, I see you trying to really break even into an industry. I feel this is about, about, about your bravery, and I feel it's about time. Yeah, I hear it like this. So, some of you, this is something that you've been working towards. Now, your finances are going to be leveling up, okay? Totally a different conversation point that we're going to be having, I feel, once we step out of Mercury retro. Now, some of you here are dealing, though, with a lot of chaos around the space. I feel there's something very awkward, okay, that maybe leads you into this conversation. It's like something that maybe at a certain point you felt kind of like weird about, okay? It's like, hmm, that's not really what I was expecting, or that's really, that's, that's unfortunate. Like, why did that have to happen? sort of thing. Uh, some of you here, you know, it may be that you're also, you know, this is, you're stepping into a space that's really controversial, okay, or there's something that you're doing here. I'm hearing bank, bank, uh, there's something that, you know, you're creating. Sometimes we think, well, wow, it's controversial, it must be something bad. No, no, sometimes it's that we're doing good, okay, for the community, for ourselves, for others, and, um, you know, uh, it's controversial to the bloodline of shadow, right? It's like, okay, so for some of you, you have something here that you're creating and, and it's going to be really turning a few heads here. I feel though you also realize that people in, in your, in your past will not necessarily want to see you in this space of the future, uh, that, that, that you're ready for necessarily. Uh, so some of you here have people from the past who are still, yeah, holding on to you. I don't want to say holding you back, but well, Hey, you know, I mean, it's up to you to, to see how it really feels. Does it feel like they're pulling you back or does it feel like they're pushing you forward when you're around those people, right? When you're around people, you'll see, you'll see how you feel. Um, you know, they can, for whatever they want to say, say that you're their friend and vice versa. They, they're, you're, you guys are going to be empowering each other. Um, but, you know, what does it actually feel like when you're hanging out, when you're spending time together? So, um, yeah, let's see here a little further. Queen of Wands. Damn, this is going to be your season. We have the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords. We have the Five of Pentacles in the center of the spread, the Four of Pentacles, the Strike card. There's something you're going to be excelling at. And I feel like this is a dream of yours, honestly, Sagittarius. For some of you, there is a really, wow, the Moon Reverse is something that you have, you know been brave about, okay? You said, I'm gonna slowly work to this point, and I'm gonna fucking make it, and I feel like you're gonna do it, Sagittarius, you are, and I feel like people are really looking at you from the sideline, they're very proud of you, they're very happy for you, I see that you are going to be really holding a public space here for some of you, um, I'm here for a few more years, interesting, okay, let's get a little further, we're gonna now pull, I'm gonna set the date, dates down, Isaac, come here, Isaac, he's under the bed, <laughs> Isaac, Isaac, come here, doll, Guys, can you give me a second? Actually, I'm going to set up his little bed so that he can go up and down it. Hold on. There you go. There you go. 
go. <laughs> Give him a little bridge. <laughs> okay, so yeah, um... Yeah, Sage, I feel like you're gonna hit all the back burner shit. <laughs> all the things that you've been wanting to do for years, you know, you're gonna finally do it. Some of you, this comes down to what it is that you make space for, make room for in your life. That you say, once and for all, I'm gonna do this. Again, I'm hearing it like this. And, and moving gradually towards this, towards this space. And it can be even just a space psychologically, you know, that you're saying, I'm now, I am ready for this. Okay, so, um, Isaac, please don't drop it. I gotta do this reading doll, okay. He's still a puppy. Let's get into it further, guys. We're gonna get um for each of the dates. Yeah, I feel like the way you move into this season, though, it, there is definitely an awkward energy. I mean, very awkward. It's like, okay, wow, that's like really embarrassing. Like, why? Um, also, you know, maybe you're dealing with coworkers, friends, family who are just like you feel like they're just kind of like. They're just shitty. I'm sorry to say it like that, but <laughs> it's like you're being shitty, like, um, yeah, and you were you were definitely trying to like throw my reputation like under the bus back there. Don't think I didn't see it. Um, let's get another deck. This deck is chewed up. Okay, let's clear the energy. I'm hearing LOL. Some of you are gonna have to move out of a space here. I see that you're like not interested anyways and it's like already like kind of becoming a little bit silly like how much you've invested in the space and like given how much you're like not interested in the space it's like okay so I'm definitely stepping out of this. We have the chariot, the nine of pentacles, the seven of pentacles, the innocence of swords. This is in December. Wow. I see you cleaning up smoothing out edges of storylines that, again, have been, like, impending, that have needed your attention in a very constructive, focused way. I'm hearing something related to Taurus. Some of you, I mean, your career is, you're going to be flying sad. I'm telling you, your, your finances, once Mercury clears out of this real ass retro of the year, you're going to be in a totally, you know, different ballpark, okay? This is for those who are doing serious shadow work, right? Let's get further. Share it. I, I really like this energy for you. I feel that you're moving very quickly through your karma, okay? The karma that you feel is like, you know, also you with you. Yeah, I see you're also really saving your money here with the Nine of Pentacles. For some of you, you're like saving up for something. I see you. <laughs> you with your Isaac. Um, you're really getting good at also prioritizing, okay? What's really important to you. Um, six, seven. Oh my god. Heard my name. You heard. You're, if you're gonna use my name in the reading, you must play my toy with me. <laughs> He's a Taurus slash Gemini. He's very close to the cusp of Taurus. Okay. I see some of you leaving a job behind that just was not speaking to your soul, your spirit. Some of you, um, you. <laughs> I feel you're gonna look back on this like, wow, you know? How did this take so long for me to get out of the situation? It's, I don't wanna say it's kind of embarrassing, but it's like, yeah, it's kinda of like, okay. But then I see you kind of realizing that there's no point in sulking about maybe how long something takes, you know, it's not about that. It's like, I have to keep an open mind here. I hear it like this with how I will find my, my happiness and move my cups. And I feel like you're very focused on yourself here. You're gonna become a master at something, Sagittarius. Oh my god, I see you just doing very well with something. Okay, yeah. Your competition better step to this fucking side now. Because I feel like you're not you're not. You're not going anywhere. Okay, whatever yeah, position you're holding, I see you just excelling, huh? Getting much better at whatever you're doing, but you do have a lot of um people looking at you, so you have yeah, I feel like Let's clear the energy. You need to kind of, like, know who is your real audience as well. It's like, just because you're watching my show doesn't mean that you're my audience. You know, I'm here like that. Mm. So, yeah. It's about your standards as well, Sad. It's like, in terms of what you're prioritizing, you know, it's the equivalent of, well, a lot of people want to pay me for my work, but what, what actual lead do I want to commission as a, as a job, so-called? And this is about respecting your time, your energy, 
okay? It's about your intention, you know, being able to say, well, that is my intention versus that's not. For some of you, let's cl clear the energy. Let's back it up. I see you, like, releasing a lot of the, the, the miscellaneous energy around your real focus here. Wow, the tower on the spirit of wands. Some of you also have, you have someone here who's in your energy field, and this person is not making it to the final round with you, I feel. I feel like they're just not showing up in the way you need them to, and I feel like you may have to say a goodbye or two for some of you several. This may be a general energy space. Uh, this could be something you're no longer participating in the space of. You may have to just, like, finally be like, hey, yeah, I'm not going to be, like, doing that project anymore. Like, I'm sorry. Some of you this is with clients. Hi, Isaac. Hi, Isaac. Are you okay? What's going on, dear? What, what's going on? You want to say hello? You want to come here? Isaac, I have to do my work, okay? I'll play with you after, later. Hey, you just have to wait. Okay? Oops! Later, Isaac, later, okay? Can you wait? Can you wait? Isaac, no, 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 wait, 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 we literally just got back from the park. Okay. So, now what's going on? Sagittarius. This person may be a Leo. You may be dealing with, like, a younger Leo fire sign. Strong Aries, strong Leo. For some of you, that you, you know, you have to, like, kind of, like, um, slap the truth, okay, up in the conversation here with this person. Because I feel like they feel they can kind of just come in, come out, whenever they want, whatever they want. Okay, and it's like, you got ba boundaries and standards, and you need to you need to focus. I hear it like this, on those standards and on those boundaries. Um, no matter who's really coming through, I feel like for some of you, you know, you maybe be, even have the equivalent of, like, clients. Maybe, well, I'm going to give an example. Let's say that you are a tarot reader. Let's just make an example. Or you're like a spiritualist and like you have someone coming through like they maybe want to pay you big bucks but like it's not uh, you the questions are asking you are not touching your soul your spirit it's like i don't really want to also say those things okay in those ways how do we say maybe even you're let me give another, another you're a musician it's like you don't really believe maybe in that event okay it's like you're not believing you're not trusting you don't have faith in that conversation that this being had maybe at that event it's like i don't want to sing for those people i don't know something very specific guys yeah you're gonna have to get way more selective, possibly, when it comes to um, what you're doing, you know, with your story and, and why and for who and at what time. And it's about your self respect. You know, some of you dealing with someone who's even like a kind of a pesty energy. I see that with the Spirit of Wands Tower. This person is like a bully. For some of you, they may even be kind of like kind of messing with you and, and, and it's starting to become really inappropriate. Like, yeah, the amount of time and energy that you're spending, okay, on trying to, like, even, um, hold the attention of this person. It's, like, it's, it's getting, like, um, kind of impossible. So for some of you, I see that there's something really important that you need to accomplish and I see that there's an energy in your environment that's very, at times, very disruptive and it, it very, it's, it, let's clear the energy. It's at times very disruptive. Someone keeps coming through. I see they have a lot of Leo on the chart. Strength card. We see the sun. We see the knight of wands here. The spirit of wands with the tower. This person is not mature. I feel that they're not... Uh, maybe someone you hired. It's like you're not able to actually create with this person. It's kind of like a shame kind of vibe. It's like, great seed, but, you know, it's... There's no, there's no real conversation here that we're even having. It's getting, like, kind of random. Um, so for some of you, you need to have possibly a protocol. You need to have some sort of focus here. Yet again, possibly some of you may need to have greater sort of, like, a structure here in place when it comes to this person. For some of you, this is someone who you... Let's back the energy up again. Wow, there's a too much energy here going on here. The, the tower and the spirit wants some of you. This person is kind of, like, um... They keep messing up your schedule. Okay, give me a second. I need to, like, move this table. Um, it's even, for some of you, an activity, okay? It's like, some of you, you're very maybe physically or sexually attracted to someone here, but it's distracting to you, okay? It's, like, very distracting, and, and you're starting to feel that you don't understand any longer what, what is actually going on in your relationship with this person. It's like, there's too much... It's just too much attraction, even at a certain point, is what I'm hearing. It's like there is such a thing as too much of a good thing. 
For some of you, though, I get heavily that this person is, like, a very good friend of yours, or you guys are really, like, flirty, or you have a lot in common, or there's something very fun. I'm seeing you guys are indulging even in a lot of different things here together. For some of you, I'm seeing something even about, uh, I'm seeing something about, like, a poly life thing going on here. I see something about, um, yeah, I don't know, like, threesome stuff. Okay, oh, shh. I did gonna be not good for you Isaac okay that is spicy <laughs> and I yes we should have moved that um yeah there's something too much going on here okay with the spirit of wands and tower let's clear it again oh my god no 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 we got to clear this energy for some of you <laughs> it's you're not gonna ever be able to get any of what you need to get done as long as you're still doing this okay well, whatever this is it can be even be a community that you're still involved in there's just something that you're not really interested in even i actually feel at the core at the heart the soul the spirit of your work is not in 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 this in this context for some of you this is even maybe a group of people um that you've been sort of like um you know having fun with but it's not the answer to your to you okay and you know when it comes to what you ask for right when you really look at let's say yourself in the mirror and you say what do i want to accomplish i see that you don't see this story here. I see that you don't see this very particular. You're not eating those chips, are you, Isaac? You're okay? Okay, cool. Um, you don't really see any of this. And this is a lot of chaos. I see it's a lot of chaos. I see it's a lot of, like, you know, excitement, but then it's not actually a lot. And this can even be just a behavior. It can be, you know, you know, it's like, shoot, every time I get paid, it's like I'm not saving my money. Or this is maybe a past energy. Some of you are going to have to really get very serious with that, with the spirit ones in the tower, so that you're not having any sort of, like, you know, um, sort of pressure building, because I feel like that can easily turn into, like, a space of resentment. Some of you here, this is even someone who maybe you're hooking up with, and it's like, 10 years down the line, you're like, uh, I definitely just, like, wasted all all of my time okay i could have been dating someone developing a real connection it's like here i was like having like you know an open party relationship with this silly you know seven-year-old almost is what it feels like i'm sorry that's like gross yeah that's not right okay <laughs> yeah even if i mean we're talking let's say you're even if you're dating someone who feels like seven years old that's a disrespectful to you you need yeah you deserve someone who yeah even if it's like well we're fine like broskies it's like but that you i mean what is a relationship to you and what does your body mean to you and I mean, what is all of this? You know, like, let's go. Isaac, can you come here? Isaac, come here. Come here, good boy. Come here. Come, come, come. First of all, take this off. Good boy. There you go, doll. There you go. Okay. Now, let's go down. Come. Hello, everybody. Nat and I just went to the park. You are e. La, 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 la. <laughs> Um, it's like, it's getting, like, <laughs> it's getting kind of lethargic on you, even. I feel some of you, this is getting exhausting. Um, yeah, the Spirit of Wands and the Tower. Now, for some of you here, <laughs> there's something that <laughs> you need to address. And it's something of maybe even, like, your own energy space here. It's like, I feel that that's very much not the answer uh for somebody this is even a habit okay i'd like to get a little bit further on that what is that energy right there this is someone maybe you're like talking to a lot for some of you it's an addiction something with the physical body you feel like you're wasting your energy uh physically eight of cups in reverse five of swords in reverse ace of wands in reverse is something that we all know what it is is excessive for some of you, it's something like you feel you don't have control over. Okay, it's kind of like an impulse. Yeah, yeah, Ten of Wands in reverse. Some of you, I mean, this is a big deal. Eight of Wands in reverse. It could be something that's sexually related, or it can also be... It's like a chronic thing, okay? Some of you, though, it's like your diet. It can be... Uh, it can also be an addiction of some kind. We have the Five of Wands, the Eight of Swords. Some of you, you may want to, like, actually talk to someone to get assistance in the space. Um, you know, you may feel that this is getting out of control. For some of you, um, this is a, like, someone you're dating. I see, like, a sex with benefits. Wow, that's, like, next level sex with benefits. How is it different from friends with them? I don't know. So, anyways, uh, it's like, yeah, so spirit with, spirit with wands, spirit wands in the tower. 
Yeah, let's clear. I feel like you're like, listen, I can't just let myself go in this space. And I mean, this person, like, you're putting everything in this in this situation with this person and they're not in control. So uh, everything is sort of like random for some of you here is what I'm saying. Three of wands in reverse in, in, in the theme. Three of cups up, right? Mirror and judgment. I mean, what kind of decision is that? I mean, we don't know. It's like we're all hanging out. It's like for some of you, this is something you just put off and it's like too much back burner energy. He has the zoomies now. Oh my God um no so what's going on uh further Sagittarius I feel like for some of you this is a, um something that you're like uh, getting carried away with uh I want to get a little bit further on that can you guys give me a second I'm hearing Tim Burden this is something that doesn't allow like how do we say it? it's like let's say you're in meditation it's like this person calls you up and is like yo bro you want to like go ice skating it's like i w didn't think of going ice skating yeah sure we'll go it's like something like this it's like throwing you off you know it says be able to speak to animals or know the, all of the foreign languages why it's like maybe you're like having trouble deciding you know either i spend my time doing this or i spend my time doing this and maybe there's something here long term you've been wanting to do for a really 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 long time and you're not able to do that because of some other factor okay for some of you and i feel like this is really like about short-term gratification versus long-term satisfaction and that's really jupiter versus saturn energy okay and mercury and capricorn ruled by saturn so yeah um it's interesting okay sag let's get a little bit further mercury was just in sagittarius prior to this cycle of mercury and cap uh, so think back to what was sort of culminating around the time of, oh, was it December 5th? Okay, that might be a message. All right. As to what this energy is. But let's get some letter charms as well. I'm hearing RISD, uh, something about art. Um, we have R-S-S-M-E, we have an I, and we have an I. L-T. I'm seeing something about New York. Some of you, this is like a program, some kind of program. It's something that is for school. We have RYI. It's something uh, that you're actually interested in, but it's just about the balance factor, right? So maybe it's not that you want to like eradicate this. It's just how you fit it into your schedule. So to make sure that you have time for the other things that you're interested in. Okay, so let's get a little bit further. Some of you, you want to travel. I'm seeing something about um traveling and yeah so for such years it's very important right so if you're feeling like you can't travel that's probably gonna make you feel very uncomfortable okay over time like when you're not allowed as you feel it um you know maybe even like in your mind right you feel like constricted to even one subject matter you may start to feel kind of like bored um or you know suppressed okay there's some sort of suppression of, of this natural otherwise very natural sort of darty energy that's very explorative and may maybe that this is the energy that wants to sort of have an outlet but it's not really it does not okay let's go in the threshold let's go down the back some of you though this is someone who keeps like i see like a punk like a punking energy i see someone keeps popping up and it's like Hey, I'm here. I'm relevant. And it's like, what? No, I was like thinking about something completely different. But then I feel like you don't have the heart maybe to tell this person you can't hang out or that you can't like show up. Um, anyway, Sagittarius, uh, this is the energy here up until the beginning of January. Any key dates? I feel like a lot of what you're facing in January, sorry, December, December, um, is this is a matter of you really getting clear on what you want. Okay. And, and that being really the placeholder and you being able to say to whoever at any time, no, like I can't do that right now. I can't participate in that space. I have to be really focused. I hear like this, the sun, temperance. We have the ten of swords and the high priest is seven of wands, the sky father. This can also be a metaphor. Like, I don't want, let's say, to rock the boat with too many people. So it's like, I'm going to hold back what it is that I really feel. It's like, that is going to get really stale and really old. And that may lead to the sort of pressure point at the very tail end of December. I'm hearing something about July 5th. Interesting. One day 
after Fourth of July. Something maybe culminated in July, and you had a sort of like a moment of like reality check ish energy, and you're like, wow, that's not going to work. I can't carry that on like that any longer. And I feel like it may resurge as a bit of a test here at the very tail end of December. Let's get a little bit further into Jan. Dear Sagittarius. What is going on in January? I want to pull from another deck. Let's get another deck. January, what's going on with this Mercury and Capricorn for the sign of Sagittarius justice again? Wow, you had justice come through the first week of December um, of the for, of this transit at least, right from the sixth to about the we had justice come through around the eleventh of December. Let's jump in and see what's what. So we have a relationship coming. It's a new contract. There will be a contract involved with this. It's going to be a very serious connection. I feel like it's going to be absolutely like love at first sight for many of you, Sagittarius. It's going to be a situation. It could even be a workplace project, something where you're just like, yes, it's a huge yes. I'm so into this. I, yes. Okay, there's no need to like go home and think about it. I want to sign on the dotted line. I already know that this is who I'm interested in, what's going on. But it's like, um, I feel that you still sort of like taking the time to sort of move through the motion of the maybe bureaucracy still it's like very exciting though whatever this is justice here you may even get like some sort of raise here i see that mm, something very interesting i feel like you may even like know you have premonition about what is right for you what works for you but you're still gonna like take time to sort of um almost like let's make an example let's say you're dating someone it's like okay i know that they're the one i have the feeling i'm gonna we're gonna get married but you're still sort of like let's go on this next date okay i'll act like i don't know yet okay eight of pentacles the negative wands reverse wow so something has definitely been made clear i feel like uh some of you here you've wow <sighs> okay sag some of you you're gonna hear from someone here from the past i feel like something's gonna come through it's gonna be a moment of good karma for you. I feel like whatever this is that comes through, this person is going to communicate something that is going to allow you to sort of like understand how you want to pursue another decision that you've got to make in your story. Let's see here a little bit. Okay, what's going on with this energy? We have Taurus, really strong Taurus. It could be Taurus. Um, let's just get main sign placements. Leo, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer. Let's clear it. Somebody here is definitely a Leo, again, Leo, Virgo. Someone wants to say something to you. I see that. Um, I feel this is going to be, for some of you, even related to career. I see you winning something here big. This is going to be in the second week of January. Let's get a little bit further, though. I feel like you're going to hit this height, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Wands right there. And it's like you're not going to want to come down. It's like you know that that is just like... You reach a plateau of some kind, and I feel like there's almost at this moment of, like, I'm a little bit too happy, okay? I don't know what to do with myself. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's a little bit, like, even this feeling, though, of, uh, how do we say, like, you know, when you hit a high so high, it's like, okay, I'm, I don't want to say, you know, it's even a moment of, like, a little bit, like, it's weird, you know? I don't want to say it's, like, a depression point, but it's, like, now what a little bit, you know? It's like, okay, like, that's over, now what? You know, so let's get further. Maybe it's bittersweet. Some of you, like, you're getting very successful and maybe it's kind of, I feel like oh, there's this moment coming where you're like, how do I handle this? How do I really deal with this? I feel like 
I'm going to ask Spirit more on this. I feel like it's kind of important. We have the Emperor. Okay, some of you, you feel nervous maybe about the next step. It can be that there's too much pressure building at a certain point. You're like, I don't know what to do. Ace of Swords. Three of Cups. Queen of Cups. So we're definitely meeting a lifetime partner soulmate. Um, I see you... Um, Freaking out a little bit, i got to be honest. Some of you here, you're going to be dealing with someone who's realizing that you're the one and they're freaking the fuck out and they don't know what to do. They're realizing that they want to be with you forever, that this is serious, that you're really, 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 actually the love of their motherfucking life. They don't know what to do, okay, about that point, okay, specifically, because I feel like maybe they weren't ready okay they weren't they were but maybe they, it's like they knew but then they didn't really plan for you guys to fall in love like this oh my god queen of cups leaning on the three of cups ace of swords so you're going to hear from this person in the second week of june mm -hmm. 18th is going to be an amazing day for some of you i see something just like amazing coming through like very very like I mean, I feel you're going to go from one height to the next. It's like, I can't, I, I can't stop apparently like mastering my life. Wow. It's amazing. Like, I think everything's going to happen for you at the same time, Sagittarius, if I could say, if I could say, okay, the high priest knows. Wow. I mean, you're really going to be flying. I see something with your career. Mm -hmm. It's almost like, wow. But then I feel like there were sometimes some moments where I don't want to say you're like, what did I do to deserve this? But like, I see something just like. You know, I see you, yeah, I mean, really save your money up. Okay, because, I mean, you may have an opportunity coming. If you save in the short term, you can really invest in something in the long term that would really be just everything you wanted for some of you here. I see that with the Four of Pentacles in the third week of January. There may be some opportunity for you. You have some idea. It's like, wow, that'd be really cool. It's like, okay, that's my long-term vision. I see you sort of, like, able to pinpoint what it is that is the long-term vision. Knight of Cups here, Four of Wands, the Empress. Oh my god, come on, Sagittarius. This is amazing. I feel like you've sort of been able to put your finger on who you want to be with as well in the long term and what you want with that person exactly what that life looks like and how you want to you know, really sort of relate to this person uh, now today, given that you now see the future. Wow, that's just like really a beautiful energy that you lead out with in that last week of January with the Empress of Knight of Cups and the Four of Wands. I feel like there's something kind of celebratory. I feel like you're going to reunite as well with someone here. Can we get a little bit on that? Let's go ahead and let somebody. Okay. Cancer, Leo, Virgo. Capricorn, Leo, Leo. Wow. Let's get two more rounds. Taurus, Aries, Leo. <laughs> Leo. Aries. We have Leo, Scorpio, and Virgo. Let's do one more. <laughs> we have Aquarius, Cancer, and Taurus. Um, I feel there's something that you're going to be very happy with. Okay? Very pleased with. Very pleased about. Can we get a little bit here further on that? I'm sure. Wow. M, the letter M. C U K I or L, we can say, or the Roman numeral one. We have O and we have Y. Take it as you will. We have S M G B E. All right, let's get here a little further. Some of you are going to be in a movie. You're going to be cast. I'm hearing Top Gun. Interesting. Okay. It says, what's one of your simple pleasures? I feel like this may even be a gift. Something you receive and it's just like, wow. That's amazing. Guys, <laughs> this is not a tarot deck. This is not an oracle deck, technically. This is technically a let's get to know each other deck it's like you know kind of like a introductory sort of like let's get drunk and drink and just pull cards you know kind of deck <laughs> no offense to whoever created this but um that's kind of what i'm just channeling of the deck i guess okay this card and this is a let me just show you now yeah we've got a hefty number here of cards i'm okay. going do you believe in astrology? Why or why not? Some of you, you know, yeah, you may feel like you've also found possibly your calling. I'm hearing Mother Mary. Wow. Okay. What was your worst subject in school? 
if you could be fluent in another language, which would it be? Why? That's the second time we have something about language and it's average reading. Very interesting. For some of you, I'm hearing Dutch. Interesting, something about Dutch. For some of you, there's something here that maybe I'm hearing something about the Vatican history coming up. Maybe you fell for a long time, you know, that maybe even you were really good at something, but then I feel you're going to like become really obviously good at whatever that is. Like you maybe win an award in this industry and then it becomes just like surreal and you're like, wow, actually I am good at this. Okay. So that's very exciting. Okay, his edge. For some, that's great. Um, happy to hear that because I feel like this is something that it's like one of those moments like you can't say you're not good at it. You know, it's like you're like, gonna look back and be like, nah, like I fuck, I fucking own that shit. And yeah, no, I did. <laughs> it's like even your own devil's advocate like has to take a yeah, a sit down on this one. All right, like where's the bench at? Okay, yeah, somewhere on the bleachers, right? Okay, the Lyrans, the Pleiadians. Okay. I feel like there's something just like it's even a vacation possibly well deserved of this is you're just like wow i can finally just chill okay i see you just like in a space where you can just enjoy your life right there okay empress here knight of cups four of wands um you've also found your happy place you found something that really you're enjoying i feel like some of you this is someone you're meeting and you're really gonna have a very exciting time with whoever this is we have vegan solitude independence peace i mean it just doesn't get any more beautiful than that it's really beautiful. So sure. Enjoy whatever this period is at the very end of January. We have then Pleiadians, unconditional love, excitement, laughter. <laughs> With that, I remember his night of where once I'll take it any day. Okay, Lyran, strength, courage, bravery. Some of you are gonna meet someone, and I feel like you may even like vacation with this person, or even like several people. And I feel like you're just like, wow, this is my tribe, this is my family. I, I love this place even. And I feel like you're just gonna feel very connected and very much at home. Um lovely. I see something about like home cooked meal. Air element, philosophy, discrimination, empathy. Mm. I feel like there's something that you've created a space of even. I feel like you're really enjoying the space that you've created. And that's really great. It's nothing more lovely than knowing that you created that. And you're able to also appreciate that space. We have starseed, self-memories, and identity. Number 37. I feel like many of you have been battling, okay, a long cycle here with a lot of, like, demonic energies. Like, energies and people who are just like, ew, I'm sorry to say it like that, but no. But it's a new, and like, why, well, yeah, why am I dealing with this? And I feel like you're gonna come finally into a, a moment where you're able to inhale and exhale without having to, you know, look left and right and all around you and, and question people's motives. I feel like this is a moment where you're actually able to enjoy the moment. And I feel like it is with another person. I feel like this is some Someone who you really feel very much okay proud of as well to call um for some of you you know your person and i feel like you are going to just have a moment as well with this person very particular moment that you're able to say this is really happening and i feel like it's between you two and it's something very special very sacred very even private and i feel like it's a moment where you say this is my person i hear it again like that that this is this is happening i hear it again like that i mean it's a very surreal you know some of you could even be a honeymoon or you you take it as you will but yeah it's it's a moment where you really sort of see something about this person that maybe that you had in the past and it's something that you're um you you really sort of like initiated into the experience of finally maybe even for the first time where you're like wow you know those moments where you're like i've been dating you for like four months four years but it's right now that i see who you were going to be to me um in, in your eyes. It's something that maybe you just kind of like, maybe even communicate or that you agree on or something that you express to each other as something kind of really emotional, maybe even, or just kind of sacred. I want to pull one more card on that Empress with the Knight of Cups and the Four of Wands. 32, Kabbalah Tree of Life, Integration, Life Lessons, and Emanation. Wow, there's something that you're going to recover. Mm -hmm. I hear it like this. It's something where you feel like Wow, that was a missing piece. Now we all kind of connected and it's happening. For some of you, I do want to pull one. Mm. I feel like Spirit wants that to possibly be more of a surprise, so we'll leave it at that. We'll pull one more guy. <laughs> there we go. Two wands in reverse. Oh, Magician Bright. Okay. This is a dream. So this is something that, like, I feel like you have wanted for a long time. I feel like it's something that maybe even you had a vision of. You've dreamt of this, and I feel like it's something that you know, you know, you is part of your future. It's, it's part of your story, and this is something maybe even a bit controversial. I feel, though, finally, you're going to have whatever this is with the person that you've been dreaming of it with for some of you. Okay, and this is a this is a very particular message. Ten of Pentacles and the Magician. This is, some, this is your fucking dream. Come on, Sagittarius. Come on. Like, get excited already. It's happening, really. It is. It's like... Oh man, but I feel like you know it, but like still there's a side where you're like, mm. 
but then there's this moment that makes it like it snaps it into reality for you where you're like no yeah that's happening this is happening it's like i had the crush on this person that i've had for years and i don't know if they feel the same way it's like but then you know but like you're your devil's advocate vibe right okay you, you know it still has a say and it still has its place in your conversation where you say i love you and they say i love you and you guys but then there's this moment i keep hearing it like this where something happens okay between maybe you and this person and it's like okay i don't i don't i don't doubt how you feel for me as well okay wow um let's just get i'm ever so curious okay let's just get here sun moon rising on the empress energy Scorpio, Pisces, Aquarius. Uh, let's get here on the Knight of Cups energy. We have Sagittarius, Scorpio, Pisces. Interesting. You know, this can be something as well that you feel you've reconnected with. And as this card does say it itself, you know, you've reintegrated with. There's something that you just feel is sort of <sighs> revived. Mm -hmm. Some of you, this is something that you know that you have in you, and I feel like you're coming to this point where you're saying I'm actually, like, in the space where I'm living the dream. Um, this is amazing. Sagittarius is really, like, I feel like it's something that you're gonna have to blink twice about. Mm -hmm. Two of Wands in reverse. It's also something, hmm, there's some aspect of this that, um, you, you're able to release as well, okay? There's something that wasn't real about it, and I feel like whatever that was, I feel for some of you this may be a proposal. Let's get a little bit further. I feel like it's something that, you know, sometimes, oh, there's a card. The Six of Cups. Wow. It could be a childhood memory. Um, you know, sometimes there are those moments where it's like, okay, this is, I can always doubt this, but then there's that other person that comes into the mix, and they're like, I'm gonna validate it for you. This is really happening. You're just like, whoa. Um, an example would be, I know I'm, like, good at singing, but, like, you know, I'm not really that good. Then it's like someone comes in, and they're like, they slap you in the third eye. <laughs> okay, they're like, you're good at singing, come on. Like, and I'm actually gonna, yeah, I'm gonna give you a record deal. It's like, oh my god. You know, there's something like that. It's just, like, kind of a confirmative moment for you. So, enjoy it, Sagittarius, whatever it happens to be. And please let us know about oh, another card here from another deck. The death card, wow. This is something that maybe even, um... It's a gift. This is a gift from spirit. We have the magician again, double magician. It's something even that you're gonna, yeah, you're gonna like present to a number of people and it's a big presentation. It's something you've worked on. To guys, are we seeing this? The magician and two super ducks laying both upon the 10 of pentacles in two super ducks. That's amazing. We have the lovers, we have the queen of cups at the base of that. Oh my god. I mean, yeah, for some of you, this is a, this is like a long-term soulmate, long-time soulmate. Can we get some letter charm on the address? I'm too curious. <laughs> we have a, two I's. We have a V. We have an S. We have another I. We have an E. We're on the Knight of Cups. We have the, we have the letter E. We have G. We have L. We have Y. And we have N. So, um, Wow. Let's get a little further on the Empress. We have D-O-I-S. On the right, we have K-O-N-R-K. Corn. Isn't that a band? Corn, K-R-N. Okay, or a singer or something. Um, I'm seeing the number seven. Okay, so t you guys take what you take from it. Um, but yeah, okay, let's get back into these energies for G for February. That's January. Very exciting. Enjoy Sagittarius. I feel like some of you, this could even be traveling. Okay, I, I just get the sense you're going to be in a space of sort of reaping what you've sown in, in a really, really, really exciting way. So, all right. in the heart chakra let's get with that same deck on uh february let's actually mm, yeah let's continue with this deck okay 
Sagittarius, Mercury, and Capricorn the last month, February 1st to the 11th. I'm feeling heat in my left ear. Okay. Now, some of you, you know, as you're elevating in this space, there may be someone here from your past who's still... <sighs> I'm hearing, are you ticklish? Yeah, I'm ticklish. I'm hearing that. Okay. Take it as you will. Someone here, um, metaphorically, that makes me think of someone who is, is like sensitive to something. I feel like this person, there's someone from your past who remembers you, recalls you, and recalls details about you that, uh, I'm sorry to say, but like they can use against you down the line. For some of you, this person knows that you are in a very particular position here with them. We have the King of Swords, the Hangman. We have the Devil in Reverse, the Six of Swords of Right. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. What is this? For some of you... It, wow. So if you, okay, this is either, some of you have moved on, wow. There's something going on here, the Hierophant. <laughs> some of you are in a long-term relationship with someone. Again, the magician with the time pentacles and the theme. So whatever the energy is of Jan is going to carry over, I feel. But either you have someone here from your past who's sort of like awkwardly sort of like peering into your newfound love life situation, which is really beautiful and really lovely. If it is, or however, if you're a Midhaven Sag, it could be your career. Take it and apply it as you take it. For some of you, this is though like the relationship itself, but I feel like there is a little bit of this moment where like you do feel like, whoa, you know, is this really happening? And I feel like there can be a little bit of this struggle with kind of acknowledging, you know, and, and, you know, sometimes I feel like there may be this moment where you're like, what if, like, what, what if this doesn't actually, uh, there's like fear energy a little bit here is what I'm seeing with the high priestess knighting the devil in reverse. I feel like it is a matter of sort of, um, believing in, in, in this amazing sort of new beginning with the king of wands mirroring the queen of cups. There's a little bit of like nerves energy. Like, I feel like you feel this person, you're nervous a little bit. It's like, I know that this is happening, but like, it's still kind of nerve wracking. King of Wands, we're in the Queen of Cups, sandwiching the Two of Cups and the Page of Wands, you lead out. With the Eight of Swords, the Hierophant, and the King of Cups. Guys, I mean, this is your person. I feel like you know that, or there's something that is like official, but then we got the pair of the Queen and the King, but we have the number 10 on the Hierophant, and we have Libra right here coming through on the Eight of Swords. Um, some light number of you may be worried that this is like not going to happen. Can I get a little bit on that? Guys, like this is like, okay, let's give an example. It's like, oh my God, we're moving in together. This is huge. Like this is really happening, but there is a little bit of, uh, like what's the fear here? Can we get a little bit on that? Are you afraid this person is like re rebounding with you or there's something that you're worried like you, there's something maybe you're thinking uh it's like i feel like you're trying not to think of the past I, this is a classic like we have an amazing like moment right now between us but then it's like am i kind of thinking about the past I'd like to get from a different deck here on that queen of wands reverse ace of wands of right energy right there we have the emperor some of you you feel this person may be also very good looking like they're gonna get a lot of people but then it's like it's about your confidence so sag i feel like you're gonna have an amazing mercury and capricorn but of course like without any right transit there is always tests and curves and turns uh, make sure that you are um holding your yourself in, in a position right where you see yourself in the light that you see yourself in sometimes the tragedy is when not the trouble is when we allow others to also give us the meaning that we hold with our own conversation um too far right in, in into the into the discussion there's a point where you have to remember that you give yourself the right to be who you are i hear it like that um fully and and it's not that this person or anyone is going to let's say elect you to become who you are this is about about especially if this is career matters um it's not like it getting to your head it's more like it's you know kind of um getting into your head like it's it's sort of you know 
yeah, it's not important really. <laughs> I hear like that. It's happening, but because you deserve it, Sagittarius is what I'm hearing as well. So try to sort of side with that. Truth, we'll see you in the next video. I'm hearing that knowingness is yours and it always was from the very beginning. We'll see you in the next video. Bye, Sagittarius.